let's discuss pyrite. It's a third eye crystal. It's mostly iron. You used to call it fool's gold. That's dissing this crystal. But um, it means so much more than that. Again, powerfully third eye. You want to stay grounded, but you want to be able to tap into all the information that you need. You want to be able to emote and project information. You want to be a good teacher. Do you want a stone that can speak to you and keep you in that great sense of uh, uh, magnanimous energy uh, of saying, I have a big heart and I have something to offer the world? Pyrite will allow you to connect your heart chakra to your third eye chakra. It's a masculine crystal, it's very y uh, yang, and it vibrates to Leo, by the way, the sun. But my God, it keeps you so focused, it really allows you to tap into your, your pure magic. One thing I would mention though about them for uh, safekeeping, don't put, uh, although they look beautiful in a garden, and I like to create a garden with a lot of fantasy and a lot of big crystal pieces in it, don't put pyrite back there. Don't put boji stones, which we'll talk about another time, or stones or marcasites. These stones will break down. They don't particularly like humidity, and they'll lose their luster. Um, so keep them in a dry place. This way they'll keep that beautiful glow. Have pyrite with you, and you'll have your chutzpah. You'll have your courage back, because you'll have the conviction of truth. And that that's where love comes from, and that's where your honesty comes from, rather, and your sensitivity comes from. So you, you won't feel vulnerable, you'll just feel in tune. If you want to start your collection, these uh, clusters of pyrite are the way to go. If I could wear this as a stone around my neck, I would. Just don't throw me in the river. <laughs>